Hello, welcome. I'm going to talk to you about growing green beans in containers. It's easy to do, so let's get started. To begin with, there are two main types of uh, green beans. There's the pole beans that grow really tall, and then there's the bush type that's more compact, growing about two to three feet tall. And this is the type that I like to plant in my containers. So I'm going to plant one that's called a bush contender green beans. And uh, I really like this variety, but there's some other varieties too that I'll scroll along as I talk. So when you're growing your, your bush um, contender beans or any bush bean, your containers always has to have drain holes and you're going to use some potting mix. Now to fertilize your bush green beans, you're just going to put an all-purpose granular fertilizer into the soil. So just follow the instructions for the fertilizer that you buy and you should be okay. You also want to plant them about one inch in the ground, but again, follow the package of your seeds for the planting direction. They need lots of sun. Green beans love sun. So at least, you know, six to eight hours a day is perfect. Now your container itself needs to be fairly deep because you need the, the, the green beans need those, that space to grow all that root system that they have. So at least a 10 inch deep pot um, should be okay for you. Now as far as watering, you want to keep them um, watered but not muddy or you know, you're not making mud pies. So um, you're going to check them by sticking you know, your finger um, into the hole of your container in the top part for about an inch and see if there's moisture there. If it's dry, you definitely need to water it. Or if it looks like your plant is wilting, you need to water it. Now, how many plants feeds um, a person? Well, for the bush means about eight to 10 plants per person, and you should have enough uh, to cook, and maybe even if you wanna freeze some and put them up. When you're picking your bush beans, um, there's two thoughts. Some people think the bush beans um, present all their pods at one time, but if you keep them picked, you should be able to get a second round, maybe even a third round of green beans. You may also want to uh, try something like succession planting, planting where you're not planting all your seeds at one time so that you can have a continuous flow of green beans. But it depends on how you want to plant it. If you really plan on canning, you may want to plant all your green beans at one time so you have that big harvest. Now here's my container. It's one of those AeroGrow type felt pots. And it's about 16 inches in diameter. And like I say, it needs to be a good 10 inches in depth. So I'm gonna add in about a good handful of fertilizer and mix it in. If I didn't mention it before, I did pre-wet the soil so it's kind of damp. Now the package says to plant these 18 to 30 inches apart. So obviously we're not going to do that. This container, I'm going to plant them about 3 inches apart. And because I have a good amount of nutrients in here, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Now this is the last of my my green beans in this package and I have some more in order which is fine because when they come I'll plant a few more containers and I'll be part of my um, planting succession so that I don't want all mines to be coming at the same time. And now I'll just pull the soil over it. So wasn't that simple? I mean, you can do it. Just a container, potting mix, seeds, and some fertilizer. It's just basic. 
basic gardening beans those bush beans will do well in your containers i hope you have a happy growing season and check out the video that's coming up right behind this one that's it for now